This video is about enzymes. It will explain what enzymes are, what they do, and how they work. We will look at the different factors that affect how well enzymes work. We'll also look in a bit more detail at the enzymes involved in the digestive system. So what are enzymes? They are biological catalysts. Biological because they're proteins. And like any proteins, they're simply a chain of amino acids that's folded up into a particular shape. The order of amino acids, as with any protein, is determined by the order of bases in the gene. So if there's a mutation in the DNA, the enzyme will not be made correctly and so is likely not to work. Catalysts, just like in chemistry, speed up chemical reactions. These reactions would have happened anyway, but not at a fast enough rate to keep the organism alive. Examples of the reactions that enzymes speed up and control in living things are making proteins, replicating DNA, and breaking large molecules down into smaller ones, such as in digestion. So how do these proteins speed up or catalyze reactions? They work by holding the substrate, which is the substance being altered, in place. The enzyme has a special region called an active site that the substrate fits into. The substrate fits into the active site in the same way as a key fits into a lock. And you can see that because different substrates are different shapes, they're going to need different enzymes. This makes enzymes specific. Each enzyme will only catalyze the reaction whose substrate fits its active site. There are three main factors that affect how well an enzyme works. The first we will look at is the concentration of a substrate. The more substrate there is present, the more likely one is to land in the active site of the enzyme, so the reaction happens faster. Temperature has a different effect on enzymes to other catalysts that are not proteins, like the ones you would study in chemistry. To begin with, increasing the temperature makes the particles move faster, so the substrate is more likely to land in the active site and the rate of reaction increases. However, beyond a certain temperature, called the optimum temperature, Increasing it further actually stops the enzyme working. This is because the heat affects the shape and structure of the active site, preventing the substrate from fitting in. pH has a similar effect to temperature, in that enzymes have an optimum pH, either side of which the enzyme will be less effective. Whilst all enzymes in humans will have a very similar optimum temperature, around 37 degrees Celsius, there's more variation in the optimum pH. For example, Pepsin and lipase are two enzymes involved in digesting food. Pepsin has an optimum pH of 2, so it works best in the strongly acidic conditions found in the stomach. Lipase has an optimum pH of around 8, so the stomach acid needs to be neutralised by bile before it's able to work well in the small intestine. Let's look a bit more at the role enzymes play in the human digestive system. Enzymes help to break down food so that it can be absorbed as it travels through the small intestine. Amylase is found in saliva and it breaks down starch into sugars. We've just looked at pepsin and how its low optimum pH means it works in the stomach. Its role is to break down protein into amino acids. As the food leaves the stomach, bile, produced in the liver and stored in the gallbladder, is added to neutralize the stomach acid before enzymes such as lipase that have been produced in the pancreas are added. Lipase works by breaking fats into fatty acids and glycerol. Bile is important here as well, because as well as neutralizing the stomach acid, it also emulsifies fats, making them ready for the lipase to break down. So, enzymes are biological catalysts. They're proteins, with an area called an active site that the substrate fits into. This explanation of why enzymes are specific is called the lock and key model. Substrate concentration, temperature and pH all affect how well an enzyme works. If the temperature goes too high or the pH goes too high or too low, the enzyme can be denatured, which will stop it working. Enzymes are especially important in the digestive system, where a range of enzymes help break down food so that it can be absorbed.